Welcome to Njenje Media TV. My name, as usual, is Mazze is OK. And this evening, I will be having a one-on-one -on -one conversation with Professor Danny Paul, a man who made a video clearly with uh, utmost precision, detailing and warning about the death of Dr. Herbert Wigwe in the helicopter crash that happened the day Nigeria had their final Afghan uh, Cup of Nations, and also the day the Americans had their Super Bowl on his way to that event. In this exclusive live interview on this platform, we will dive into the prophetic claim made by my guest regarding the helicopter crash that claimed the life of the late uh, Herbert Wigwe, the CEO or the late CEO of uh, Access Bank PLC. The prophet asserts that in a viral video containing his prophecy, and which, according to him in another video, was removed due to mass reporting by what he deemed the satanic individuals. The video's authenticity has sparked debate with some labeling it uh, fake and manipulated. Notwithstanding, questions have arisen questioning the prophet's decision not to contact the families of the deceased in an attempt to prevent the tragic incident. This interview here on Ginger Media TV seeks to unravel the mystery surrounding the prophetic claim, addressing the skepticism and probing into the circumstances surrounding the death of the late Access Bank PLC. I have the privilege here bringing to you the man in question here. I have the honor to say Prophet Dan, you're welcome to Ginger Media TV. Thank you, sir. God bless you, Baba. How is everything, sir? Thank you very much. I am glad uh, to have you here. And um, I must say thank you very much for agreeing to speak to us on this, uh, um, uh, you know, on this issue at hand. Yes, sir. So let's start with, um, you know, for many people who may not know who you are, um, you know, let's dive in, take it easy, dive in into to meet you because not many people, myself included, you know, never heard about you until this incident. Who is Prophet Danny Paul? Yeah, Prophet Danny Paul is a, is a prophet of God, a servant of God, and uh, I've been in ministry for like 18 years or 19 years now. And then I've been doing my ministry, although God specifically told me not to have a church. So I decided to be doing a tele evangelist. I always, I'm always online, you know, doing the work of God. So but I'm from Ikiti State, and right now I resided in the United States of America. Okay, so right now you are running your ministry from the United States of America. Which city, to be precise? Indianapolis. Okay, Indianapolis. Oh, okay. Yes. One of my uh, one of the uh, cities I've always uh, loved to visit. Now, <laughs> yes, um, maybe one of these days um, when I come around, uh, I may pay you a visit. But the uh, way the trust dollar, me, I will be your host. <laughs> <laughs> the way the dollar is um, running crazily now, some of us may no longer afford to buy a ticket in the nearest future. I understand. I understand. Yeah. Okay, let's uh, you know, let's let's move on. I want to, for the benefit of the audience, I want to ask, how did this prophecy come to you? You know, there are many ways people get prophecy. It, it might yeah. be sleeping. Sometimes it comes as a dream. Sometimes it comes as a trance. Or sometimes, you know, you know, it could be while you're reading that you inspiration mm -hmm. comes in. So how does this prophecy come to you? Yeah, I have different gifts of uh, prophecy. And then uh, this is uh, a social media that some people have known me for a very long time. And they know how I, uh, I, how I operate when it comes to prophetic. I'm one of the most respected uh, prophets, you know, in the circle of the people that knew me, you understand? So... I have the gift to dream. I can see things that will happen in the future or things in the past or things that has happened in the present. 
God can show me, I can see it clearly while I'm sitting down, while I'm eating, but that doesn't really come often. And then God can speak to my mind. And then once in a while, I hear the voice of God loud and clear in my ear. Most especially when that happens mostly when I'm ministering, you understand? So, but this particular one came while I was sleeping and I saw that revelation. So I woke up, I was somehow scared, probably, ah, let me avoid the helicopter and then, you know, and then the clarification of the vision came. After I woke up, the clarification came, the explanation came, and it's like something explaining it to me in details. In fact, while I, while I so, um, okay, let me not go there. So when I now, every Sunday morning, there's something that I usually do, I will pray, I will post it for it to go viral. But I know my page is having problem because when I'm trying to go live, I try to look for some music to play during my life. So along the line, I started using some copyrighted uh, copyright music, which makes um, Facebook to shadow ban my page. So anything I post on my Facebook doesn't really go, except if I am live and my people got a notification and then they join. But Facebook specifically wrote it on my page quality that your page is not recommended because of the violation. So I know that. So when I had this vision, of course, for you to come out to say that kind of a pro, pro, prophecy, you have to be strong. You have to have the boldness. And uh, not every prophet. Do you know that so many prophets, a lot of prophets ask a lot of things they see. But most of them, they are so scared to come out. You know, because when you are a prophet, you will understand the ways of God. Sometimes the ways of God is very tricky. And then when God said it, we happened. You have the power to change the course. So a lot of prophets, you know, because some people don't really understand spirituality, they, they kind of bully you. Oh, but you said this will happen. It doesn't happen. So many prophets keep to themselves. They don't want to talk. So that day while I was praying that God will bless you, God will send help us to you. I started praying. And then it just, in fact, let me tell you, initially, I didn't plan to add the prophecy to that prayer. I did not plan it. I just want to say it on my live video so that people can pray, you know. But while I, while I was uh, doing the prayer, I was praying about helper. Then it con because most times when we ministers of God are praying and when we are ministering, then some things that you have experienced in the past can connect with you. That's why we start citing some examples. Most times those examples we are citing is not even in our note. It connects themselves, you know, when probably like me and you now we are talking, this particular thing that we are saying can connect me back to the past interview and I'll make an example of it. I'll say, oh, there was a time that, so that thing just came because what I saw is somebody can change this course. So it connects me back to the prophecy that I just received in the morning, you know, for the clear. So I just put it in. So while I put it in, I decided to post it on Facebook. I didn't post it because some, some of my videos, I post them only on Facebook. I won't post it on Instagram. I only post on Facebook. So I posted it and then I forget about it. Then I, I continue with my day-to-day -day activities until when I heard that there's an helicopter crash. So immediately I heard sorry, that there's let, an helicopter crash. Sorry, let me interject okay. here. On okay, which sir. date did you make that post? February 4th. February, February 4th. Could you remember yes, the, the time uh, approximately? Um, that I posted the video? Yes. Ah, I couldn't remember. Probably 10 That's or something. The, yes. The, the but I know it's in the, the morning. morning. Right. Yeah, it's in the morning that I posted it. Yes. I, I'm very sure of that. Because it's a mm -hmm. Sunday morning, I know that. I have so to go it was to church a video you post. posted, not a picture, right? No, it's a, it's a video that I posted, not a picture. Oh, it's okay. a video. So when the prophecy came to pass, I was shocked. I was even shaking. So, and for the video to go viral, because I'm working so, I'm working so much on my page. Because as you can see, social media right now is a place where you earn money. This game of social media, I have started it. But if you go and make some research, you will know that I am the very first. That's why some people still know me. Some people are like this, this prophet. I was the one that started ministry as in doing facebook live in 2016 when yeah, the very have, first uh, you time have about you have about 330 yes. something thousand. yes i was the i was the very first person that started facebook live 
using it to preach that people will come online and say, what's wrong with this one? The Facebook just launched uh, this. You are using it to preach. You people should go and look for a job. So, but I'm not happy that I'm not making money despite the fact that I have started a very long time. So because of the, because it took me time before I knew that these things could affect my monetization on Facebook, on YouTube, and so on. So when I now saw that this prophecy happened, what could I do? I said, oh, this thing happened for real. It's not that I'm so shocked that it happened because I know, I know I'm, I'm in the system. I understand when a prophecy came. Like, okay, I, I don't want to go to that part. I will still go there. So the first thing I could, and if you, if you see, check the screenshot of what they claim that I edited. The problem of Nigerians is that they will not allow you to talk first before they start talking. Now, everybody did not let's, check let's, this. Let, 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 me, let, me, let me drag you back. I think let's stay on the prophecy itself and okay, not okay. On, the, on the, you know, video, whether that was edited or not. Let's, oh, you know, okay. I thought you want me to explain here. Yeah, okay, sure. Because there is something you said in that prophecy. You said that there is an individual that can actually mm -hmm. stop it. So can you dwell more on that, yes. please? Yes, because when I saw the vision, I saw like two or three people in that dream in the dream, not even when the clarification came, that they were talking. So they just need to make a particular decision to either use the, the aircraft or use the vehicle. You know, but I did not know that. And all these things started making sense when it happened. That's why I could tell you that either they go by the helicopter or they go by the car. But I saw it because when God gives you vision, he usually, see, there are things that God will do. And there are things that he wants to do. And there are things that he wants you to make decision. That is how prophecy works. When you, when you, when some people are like, how would God show prophet bad bad things? No, it's not about when the book of Amos chapter three verse seven says, underline the word. He said, "I will anything that I want to do, I will show my prophet. Anything that God wants to do." When you, when you hold on, please. Um, let me quickly read that place out. Amos chapter three verse seven. It says, "Surely the Lord God will do nothing." But he revealed his secret unto his servant, the prophet. He will do nothing, but he will reveal it. It's not that that thing will not happen. It's not that God is waiting for your approval for what will happen. But he will just reveal it. Sometimes it's not for you to make a change. And sometimes it's for you to make a change. So when I saw those things that, okay, this is the area. So when I woke up and I started pondering about the dream, I see that, okay, there is a very you know, there is a very probability that somebody can stop this. So that was when I picked, that was in between that, that was how I picked the, uh, the word, uh, I mean, the, the area of somebody can stop it. So when I woke up, I started meditating, okay, what is going on? And then that was how that one came. So that was why I said, there is somebody that can stop it. Because I see that after that, they didn't move. It's not that all of them now move and started going together. They separated. So that was when I knew for real that somebody can stop it. If I, so in the, now, now, before I take more clarification on this, let me bring okay. in the governor of Abia State here. That okay, is sir. Um, Alex Oti. Alex Oti, when this incident happened here, uh, if you're watching, those of you at home, you can see clearly where Alex Oti highlighted something, and I will read it out. In his tweet and the tribute to his friend, uh, that's uh, Dr. Alex Oti here, who made this tweet, sent, you know, with this picture with the deceased here. Okay. He said something that really, you know, made me to start looking for you. Because he said, yeah, you had several, you had uh, several shared how one of the best things about the acquisition of Diamond Bank was Solar. He was with you everywhere you went. But alas, Sola was unreachable all throughout yesterday. For some reasons, he had to step down from the ill-fated chopper to accompany mm -hmm. the luggage by route. His name remained in the manifest. It is now clear that you are no more. Now, mm -hmm. quote, unquote. Looking at this, from yes, the... Uh, looking at this from the, uh, you know, the governor himself, would you say this tallies with what you are saying? 
So what you are basically telling Nigerians, or rather said to the world, by your prophecy, that solar could have stopped that crash from happening. Sometimes it might not even be solar. It might even be the man himself. Let me let me set an example to you uh, for you, sir. What if now what I heard is about Shola couldn't get on the um, helicopter because it won't contain all of them. Now let's imagine that this Shola is not there. It's only the man, the wife, and the children. And eventually the helicopter would not be able to carry all of them. What will be their decision? Will the man tell the wife to go and get a car and meet them there? Will the man tell his children that, oh, you know what, you children, go and ride, you'll meet me there? No. They are all going to probably ride on a Rolls Royce, uh, ride on a limousine and say, okay, you know what, let's leave helicopter for now. Let's get a limo that will convey us to where we're going. That will be their decision. He won't throw his wife out. He won't throw his children out. But because it's your lap, probably the PE, it's very easy for them to say, you know what, Shola, go and ride. And even if, 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 you know, there are some things that God will put in your hand to, dis, to decide by yourself. This thing happened to Ezekiah and Isaiah. Isaiah is a, is, he has been the prophet controlling, he's a royal prophet. Let me call him a royal prophet. He has, be, he has been prophesied only the days of Uzziah. Uzziah is the great grandfather of Ezekiel, of, of um, uh, what do I call his name? Uh, the great father, grandfather of Ezekiah. So he has been that, he has been the royal prophet, yet he went to the uh, king and said, gather yourself together, you are going to die. And instead of Ezekiah to say, please help me to talk to God, I don't want to die, he didn't do that. He faced God. The decision is in his hand. He made that decision by himself and said, God, look at what I've been doing. And by the virtue of that, even after God has revealed to this, uh, after God has answered Ezekiah's prayer, God did not still tell Ezekiah that you will not die. He has to go back to the prophet and say, go and tell him that he's not going to die anymore. Meanwhile, when you look at it very well, Ezekiah was the man that changed the fate of that death. So this man as well can likely say, you know what? We are, I'm, not, I'm not happy that he wants to go and write. Let us, every one of us, let's go together. Okay. Let's leave the helicopter. Now let's let's um, you know, like I said, based on the fact that um, what I just read out before tallied with what you said, and yes. I decided to probe this more. But again, there is a second part to this. Okay. You made a video. You asked your members. You asked the Nigerians. You asked the world to pray. Yes. But the incident still happened. Does that mean yes. that God did not hear these prayers? It means the video did not even go viral. It didn't even go anywhere. No, but does it, then, but no, no, does does the video need to go viral? Does 10 million people need to watch it before God could? Because I think uh, in one of the uh, scriptures, he said, go into this land if you find one righteous person. So it doesn't it, need, it doesn't need. Thank uh, God, I, lo I love that. When you change the rate, yeah. I love the comparison you made. He didn't even say one righteous man. When God wants to go and destroy Sodom and Gomorrah, it's like he want, in fact, God is going already. He said, no, will I do such thing without revealing it to my servant, Abraham? So mm -hmm. he went back and said, Abraham, this is what I'm about to do. Then Abraham started pleading with God. He started with 50 righteous people. Alongside, they negotiated. That's why prophets are only negotiators. Sometimes the decision is in the hand of the people that we give the prophecy to. And after, they decided, as okay, if I found 10 righteous people, I will not destroy Sodom, uh, Sodom and Gomorrah. Ten righteous, underline the word righteous people. But on getting there, he couldn't even find any, even the house of Lot, the family of Abraham, one, the wife still looked back, still became, still, uh, God still destroyed her among, along, me, alongside with Sodom and Gomorrah. Can I, take, can I take you on on the example you basically used now? You said one righteous mm -hmm. man. You made the, prophet, the, the prophecy, obviously. I said ten, ten righteous men. Eventually, he came down. You know, he kept yes. going down. He kept coming down. So no, 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 no. That was where it la the last part is ten righteous. Go and read it okay. very well. So you know, if if we want to use the biblical number, so apparently not up to ten people um, watched the video and prayed. Because so to, to to so many Nigerians, there are two critical things here that I would want you to address. One, 
it's for those who are not Christians and for even for those who are Christians who may be questioning, mm -hmm. why would you review something and at the same time ask people to pray and at the same time allow the same calamity to happen? So how so would people understand basically, So no, no. So basically, sometimes God tells you to pray with a condition. If I found a righteous man, underline that that's number one. Then sometimes there are some prophet, uh, there are some prophecy that will happen that God will throw out to the prophet. It is not in the hand of the prophet to change it. Now, when you check Nineveh, when God sent Jonah to Nineveh, Jonah can as well plead to God and say, God, please don't destroy these people. God, no prophet has ever argued inside the Bible. Go and check it. Even when Samuel was crying for the children of Israel, God said, keep quiet. They didn't offend you. They offend me. Even in, during the time of Moses, when Moses was pleading on behalf of the Israelites, God told him, said, don't worry. Let me deal with them. Now look at the, the Jonah. When God sent him, he didn't plead for the people of Nineveh. No, he didn't. He went there. He prophesied. And he was, he know God. You see, when Jonah, Jonah is one of the smartest prophets in the Bible. He knew what God could do. That is why he's feeling so relieved. He's feeling, um, incom he's not comfortable with that prophecy. But at long the line, he delivered the prophecy. But what happened? It was the people by themselves that changed the prophecy, not Jonah. So okay. sometimes God told me, this is it. I don't even know the man. I can't even okay. reach it. So you, now, you know these uh, rich people. You can't even now, reach them. You know, by the time, see, you made some, your prophecy, quote unquote, um, with such accurate precision, you could no longer at this point say you don't know the man because you said in your video, you said Access Bank. You mentioned it. But I, I don't even know the, I don't even know the owner of Access Bank. Wow. I have I mean, never even set my eyes on him. I don't even know how he looks. If you don't know him, but you mentioned Access Bank and it has something as tragic as that, that would lead me to the second question. What were the efforts made by you, the prophet, to reach out to? Because you said here that in your own analogy, you clearly, just moments ago, said that God told um, Jonah, okay, cool down. These people have to deal with this thing. So how would he know what to do if no one tried reaching out, if no one actually reached out to him or to anyone around him? What did you do? Yes. Thank you for that question. I didn't do anything. That's number one because you see all these rich people, you can't even tell me that you eat. The best thing that could have happened is for that video to go viral, for him to have seen it or any of his family members. You know these people, they are unreachable. How do I even want to reach him? How do I want to communicate? I don't know him. I don't even know anybody that knows him. So the best thing is to put it in the public. And that's what most prophets do. You know, if it is all this uh, pastor here, they go, it's very easy for them to pick up and say, my son, pray. But when it is we prophets, in fact, people, will even, if we even we pray, if, we, if, I, if I told him and said, this is about to happen. And eventually it didn't happen. Some people even tell them that don't mind this prophet. Even Nigerians, we say it. They are looking for what to hit. That's why they, assuming, they are giving evil prophets. Assuming, assuming you tried reaching out and you had one of these calls, or text me or WhatsApp messages that are time stamped, you know, um, saying, I tried my best. Now, the question will be if, if you made your prophecy and to avert a calamity, many would think it's akin to lighting up a candle and putting it under the bed because there was no effort made by you to reach out. But eventually, I put it on social media. Okay. Eventually, I put it on social media. But I put it there. Uh, it sometimes see if if it is based on everything that we receive that we are going to be reaching out. Then I will be reaching out to people every day. This today I still receive message about Bob Risky. About a few days ago I still receive message about Tunde Ednot. I'm telling you the truth. It's not a joke. Yesterday, you know, actually, to... I um, I uh, you know in trying to research you yesterday, I joined one of your program, and I yes. think at the end of the day you asked a claim. Is it claim or Haneme to call you? Yes, I don't yes. Know. Yeah, me. I don't know if it was in that program or was it that was yeah, it was there. Own way of... it, was, it was there. He called me on video. We spoke, we spoke yesterday, yes. Oh, okay. We spoke yesterday. Yeah. So what you're saying, you have no reason why you didn't make any effort to um yeah, because of the out. system. Sir, you know, I know you understand Nigerian system. Sir, I let me let me let me take you back to something. 
when people prophesied that Peter Obi will be the president of Nigeria, I saw a lot of prophet. I've, or do people want to tell me that I edited Tinubu's prophecy again? They want to which, tell me that. Which of the Tinubu's prophecy? That's the problem. That video that people are seeing also contains Tinubu prophecy, but they don't. They don't watch it. I prophesied that Tinubu will be the president. Is in that video. I made it, I think, about around March, before, before the elections, in March or something. I'm not a dated person, so am I not? So I did it. It's on my, it's on my Instagram. It's on my Facebook. So when I get some people, a lot of big pastors, they prophesy um, Peter will be, that even we prophet that we are still not up to them. We are even scared to say what the mind of God. But eventually I put it out. I put it there. Okay, said, but this video, this video in question. Yes. You only published it on Facebook. Yes, that's what I'm saying. There are some of it that I won't publish on Instagram. Okay. That some so of it. Now, a video that you want to make viral. Do you have mm -hmm. a YouTube account? Yes, I do have a YouTube account. And so go and check you it. You will see that most of my videos on Instagram, most of it are not even on my YouTube. And if you check uh, Instagram very well too, you see that most of my videos on Facebook, they are also not on because Instagram. Maybe on, the, on, on, on this plan, let's come in now to the question of authenticity here. And the reason why I'm beginning to ask you, um, why didn't you publish it on Facebook, uh, sorry, on YouTube or Instagram? Because on YouTube, once a video is published, the only thing you can do is to change the title, change the thumbnail. You can no longer change the metadata, Okay. right? Mm -hmm. Now on Facebook, that is not the case. Don't you think so that that is what has led people to begin to worry that you edited that video after the incident has happened? And let, again, me, let me let me even say this. Let me even say this to Nigeria. Why you edited the video? Okay. Edition? Let me even say this. This is this is very this is this might be funny, but it's the truth. I don't even know you can edit videos. I'm telling you, I don't. I'm not even. I don't even. Know, I'm not aware that you can edit. Either YouTube cannot edit or Instagram can edit all these things. The only thing I know that you can change your caption. I I know I'm aware of that. Now, when I publish this video for this video to go viral, I put it there. And some people. That people can testify, people that first watch it, they can testify to it. What I put there is, I will do a giveaway, drop your account number. That's why I said, if you check the screenshot, you will understand why the video was edited. People did not read it. Check it. The first caption and the second caption, it was there. But you know that people ignored it. They didn't see what I edited. They didn't see what I tried to add or removed. The caption that they that they were circulating, did this say that I removed a video? At least for me to be able to put another video there, I have to remove the first one. Now let me tell you what, what happened. When I tell, when I said that people should put, I said drop your account number for giveaway. I am just trying for that video to go viral. But eventually, I don't know, because I told you other time that Facebook said that they no longer recommend my page, that the page quality is not good because of the copyright stuff. So, but eventually still didn't go. So when this incident happened, the thing, the first thing that I have to do is firstly to remove the giveaway because I know people are going to bombard the video and I don't have money to start giving Nigerians, you know? So I went to edit, check it. I know, I don't know if you have the screenshot. If you have the screenshot, you can please check I'm it. To, don't worry, I'm going, to, I'm going to pull up the screenshot now. All right, thank you very much. So you will see that I edited that part of giveaway. I removed it. And I put it there that we should pray for the family. And then I now try to add the picture of the man. But I, I, I heard the sound came, but I didn't see the picture coming up. I was when you see, you see, I added, he said, added one media to this post. He didn't see I removed. He didn't see I removed. So you will see the very first caption. The very first caption say, drop your, you will see down there when you say, listen to this and pray, blah, blah, blah. He now say, drop your account number if I have not picked you for giveaway before. So the moment the incident happened, I have to edit that away, removing the giveaway stuff to change it to let's pray for the family. Now, I now try to add the picture. Would you agree with me? Let me now let me walk let me walk you through here. This is okay. you know this is becoming a little bit technical. Okay. You know that um, and many people IT who are IT savvy watching us now would probably confirm this. Okay. On this date, you, when you publish this video, it says, "Listen to this. Uh, prepare for your week. Helper will locate you. 
comment, share, and like, right? That was mm -hmm. the first initial thing you published. No, 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 no. Yeah, no, the first initial one is the one up there. No, that's one. The first one. Go to the first one. Okay, yeah. sorry, they oh listen to this, prepare for your week. Drop your account number. I have uh okay. Now here, 13 on that day, right? Yes. You so you you edited this and when again if you go to facebook if you add anything if you remove an ad it won't tell you that you've deleted the only what, thing you don't what, understand you why you, in, in, in the edit history it's supposed to say you you deleted or you removed no it doesn't it's a, because they don't even the, the the challenge here with facebook is if you add photo okay if you add video they are being classified as media Okay, They're, you know, they don't you see, that's what I'm saying. That I'm not even, I don't even know these things, so I'm hearing young with you. Okay, so now, in in this way, and that is where this disrepute because if these things were not edited, Nigerians who are watching us now, I mean, there is no way anyone, if that thing was in the raw way it was originally posted without any edit, but please, do you think now, what it says down here? The picture that I had, yes. you know, I told you, and I said it even in my video, when I posted the picture, yeah. when I had the picture, it didn't display, I don't know why, but I heard the sound that you, I heard came, like the video enter, I mean the picture enter, it doesn't, and it no, says that's, that's, one that's, that's attachment is not displayed, see point. now it didn't display it. The pictures, when you, when you, okay, when you have a picture, because mm -hmm. in order for, in, for this interview, we've actually uh, done this. Okay. Let me let me play this for you so that okay. you see. Okay. Hold on. Um let's quickly take this one out. Sorry, let's let's bring this in. So here, in this video we are going to watch, what we have tried to do is to replicate what may have happened in this video. First, this is a picture, right? Mm -hmm. Published. A picture the way you've, you know, the way you've been accused that this was a picture published, right? Now okay. let's go. Mm -hmm. So now gone to into edit post. Okay. Now trying to ch change the uh, media type from photo to video. Okay. Now I'm selecting video. Okay, change the title. We can now go back to, you see, that video has, that you've seen the map of um, Africa from there is yes. moved into a video. So we can go out here and let's now look at the edit history. And okay. at this moment, I will stop here. You see exactly what we had it there. The I, can't see, one says, I, can't, I can't see it very well. I can't see what it said very well. Okay, let's, uh, okay. Let me see if I can do a screenshot and upload it, and you know, again, do it as a, as a, uh, um, as a, basically as a photo. Let mm -hmm. me see quickly. So what this, what we are, what we are looking out here. I will still bring it out now. It's quick. It's quickly here showing not what time it was edited, and now clearly what he says attachment is not displayed and okay. the second part the second part now says um this has been edited this is in line if i uh hold on this is in line with what i oh sorry where is my this is in line with what i showed you know the the screenshot um which was taken from that video. Now, okay. can you also, can you also, now, because if a video 
is changed, if a picture is migrated into a video, mm -hmm. it can still it stays on the page. Nothing happens. I didn't because, even add it. It's a video to video, not even a picture to video. I was only trying okay. to add. So, immediately it happened. I was only trying to add the picture of the man. Yes, which so didn't go. Why to. was this video eventually removed? Because As, that's another thing. Because immediately it happens, and I, I won't be so stupid to go and remove the video when I knew that is the one that people want to come and see. And that's not possible. So I, after the whole thing went viral and everybody started coming, they started putting different kind of comments, you know. Me, because it's a prayer page, I won't allow negative comments. So I always delete the, uh, the comment. So only for me to sleep and wake up overnight, the video is gone. And I went to my, um, um, to my activity log. I, um, I didn't make any mistake to delete it because I saw everything. I never deleted anything. So when I went to check on the, so the only thing that Facebook is telling me that this video you are trying to, this, this, this is not, uh, has been removed and not available. But there are some people, you know, I wanted to screenshot, but why some people are not telling me, send us the screenshot, send us, I was like, is this a joke? Why will you be controlling me over my page? Telling me that you want, okay, what if I send you the screenshot, what, what, what do you want to do? So I woke up you and get, I discovered that the video get, was removed. You say what? The video that, no, the video that then went viral was yes. taken from your, played from your page. Yes. If that video was removed, then so how did you record the screen? No, no, I record, that was, or? even the recording was the one that even went viral. So it's the one that's leading that's people to How you recorded that one that went viral instead of the original video? That's what I'm saying. The original video is not going viral. If not for the recorded version, it was the one that now went viral. Recorded that I did. Did I that did the screen. Video? I did it. I did the screen record, and that was even as at the time that the screen recording was going viral. People are coming to see the original one. Until when we okay. the second, I think the second day or the third day was when we didn't see the video, and there probably some people reported it. I even posted. It. Have you contacted uh, Facebook to restore that video? Because why would you know for Facebook to remove a video? They normally write you. To give you reasons why they've removed yeah that's what i said yeah they say it's not available it's no longer available i saw it is on my page they say it's no longer this video is no longer available even why? while i reshared it he said the content is not available i don't know i believe some people report that's right that's how they do they just reported things unnecessarily things that doesn't concern you they start bringing putting negative you know, negative comments reporting video even reporting my page you know that some people are even reporting my page for no mm -hmm. reason if you are not sure of a thing, you ask question. Not to come on my page and be anytime, telling me. Anytime, anytime, any video on our platform is removed, there is a reason. That's what, that's what I'm saying. Yes, there's a reason. There is, either it has um, copyright content. Yes. It's either a, you know if it's if it's graph you know too graphic, um, if it's violent, which they consider that uh, it promotes maybe you know um, buying of people they would um, restrict your page in some cases, but mm -hmm. they would always give you a reason. And now my question to you is, what is the reason given by Facebook? When I read it, they just said um, it was removed. I don't know, probably due to something. I, I didn't put it on my head. And hold on, please, let me, hold on. Okay, they say it goes against our community standard, and they will remove it. That was why. They it say goes it goes against, against their community standard. I think probably because I mentioned some things, and crash and stuff like that. Mm. Okay. It goes against community standard. Mm -hmm. Wow. What uh, an evening. I mean, obviously, um, once we look at this, the video is no longer there. Yes, but the second one, the screen recording, is still there. Yeah, it's still there. It's still the same content. In fact, you know that we even know. after this event was when Facebook now even tell me that we can recommend your page. Can you even imagine? It was this after after this event that they say now I checked my page quality yesterday. They said your page now can be recommended. So before so they don't. don't even... you, why don't you appeal for that video to return? 
Yeah. Because I, I, I see, I don't, yeah, I don't think it's, I don't deem it necessary for, for the video to return. I'm not happy no, about the situation. Yeah. It's not that everybody, nobody's happy about this. And, and I don't even, I'm not even planning to be popular because of the situation. You know, when, when I, for example, when, when I prophesied about Tinubu um, uh, becoming the president, I didn't really bother. If I want to be promoting stuff like that, I would have been promoting them. The moment Tinubu became the president, I can be, ah, yeah, there's the prophet. When South Africa were playing with Nigeria, I went on that today's Ed North page to tell them that Nigeria will win. I have the screenshot. It's also on the video. So, and you didn't see our defeat. With Say that again. You didn't see our defeat with Africa. Why would I'm telling you, I saw it. That's the fact. And I saw. See, when some people us, are blessed, some people are blessed with gifts. My see, my brother, my brother. At least a lot of people has has called me after this incident, and I'm strongly mm -hmm. believe some of them are watching this video. They will tell you categorically that this man is a prophet of God. I'm telling you. So if I if I didn't if I didn't bother to make things go viral, you know many prophecies that I've said. I have a lot of live video that I've sent to you. I'll say go and watch it. Most of this fire that is happening, I prophesied that. Most of this fire, okay. actually, all of my members know. Let me let me drag you a little bit into the realm of uh, um, a political prophecy. Okay. You In fact, I want to go. I want to go into that realm now. I want to really go okay. into political political prophecy. Yes. That's why, that's why I want to drag you a little bit into it now. Okay. Um, you prophesied about the um, Tinubu being the president. Obviously, you're not in Nigeria like many of us here. By the way, the heat in Nigeria is killing. Sir, and hunger, stop, hold on. Say something. Hunger I'm going to say something after us. this. Yes. Hunger is also killing us. Mm -hmm. Are you happy that you? Obviously, for you to prophesy that Tinubu will be the president, inadvertently supporting. I am hundred percent happy. Are you happy with the outcome of what is happening now? No, let me tell you. Let me tell you something. There are some prophets. They want to give prophecy based on what they think is right. No, God doesn't. If you're a true prophet, God gives you prophecy on what He wants to do. Now there are chosen people, and there are hijackers. There are people that can hijack something. Hundred percent. Now, when other pastors are prophesying Peter Obi, I'm asking God, who is going to sit on that seat? I am not asking for the chosen. I know the chosen, the person that God has chosen for Nigeria. I know the person God showed me. And now, so what you are saying that prophet, God, God chose Peter Obi, but Tinubu hijacked the seat. It, it's not about Tinubu hijacking. It's a, politics is never God's way of dealing with things. When you check the Bible very well, you see that God doesn't like politics. When people choose, when they ask for king, God actually got angry. Because the hacks for a king is never God's way. So when people now no, say, when, okay, when if you want to go, no, sorry, if you want to go by Blake, you talk about King David. Yes. You talk about kings chosen by God. God made it to happen. God don't vote. So why do we have to bring his? Okay, it can't go about him. King David. When God chose King David to be king, it took him 15 years before he could sit there. 15 good years before he could de if he could see the the prophet of, the prophet of the day will say god has chosen king david yes but who is going to sit on that seat Saul. and i didn't mean jonathan did not even die it will become too much difficult for david to become king in israel so if god there are some chosen god truly chose them to be the king to be the president but if what I want to hear God say to my ear is, who is going to see there? I don't want to look. I told you, when you, when you are dealing with God, you need to be very sure of what God is saying. And that's why some people are dragging some prophets and say, but you guys say Peter will be, you are off faith, which is why what is happening right now is happening. If I stand, if I come out to say prophecy, I still don't want to talk about the 15 years time. I want to talk about now. Now that you will see the evidence of what I am saying. So I said Tinubu will be the president. Didn't mean Tinubu will be the chosen man for Nigeria. He will be sitting on, and guess what? When you go and look at my video, if I, I spoke Yoruba, tell people to interpret the, the video to you. I said, even bad people have their own supporters. I said, mark my word, when Tinubu starts campaigning, you will see crowd and you will be marvel like, why would these people come out like this? And eventually Tinubu will now be the president. That was how I, I made the prophecy. And now, and now we are sure and say, yes, God told me that Tinubu will be the president. It's quite different from God has chosen Peter Obi or God has chosen anybody. 
God told me the person he chose for Nigeria, and there was a time that I even posted the picture. I said, this man is the chosen man for Nigeria. I posted it. Even though I gave a prophecy about Tinubu becoming the president, I posted the person that God chose to rule Nigeria. But Nigerians are not ready. Nigerians are not ready for the truth, though. I'm telling you, there's no day that Nigerians are ready. Nigerians are not ready. If Tinubu, you know, if again, I repeat the same question. If God told you that Tinubu was going to be the president, why do you think that Nigerians are suffering? As we, as, as we speak today, you are in America. Dollar is over 1,600. Yes. Pounds has gone into over 2,000. Euro is heading to 1,700. I mean, I don't know the definition of calamity. Since the existence of Nigeria, we have never seen uh, the Naira nose dive into this abysmal level. Mm -hmm. So what do you think God is telling you, if now, you guys can see? What God, is, what God is telling me and telling the whole Nigeria is, see, what causes the destruction of Sodom and Gomorrah is their sin. God will give you a king according to yourself, according to who we are. God, you think we will be doing bad things, we'll be cutting people's head raping people, kidnapping, doing all sorts of things. This thing has been happening for a very long time, not now. Boko Haram will be coming, killing different people. And you think God will, will, will be in heaven with be smiling? God gives kings. So Wait, countries, let, let me, say, so let me mean, say this point, sir. Wait, sir. God will give kings according to the behavior of the nation, according to their lives, according to what they are doing. Most times, that's how, when you check the Bible very well, you will see. That except for the savior that we come for the whole world, not nation. When people, the Bible will say, and Israel does something, uh, and uh, and uh, Israel is alone, like they did bad things in the in the in, in the face of God, and God punished them, and God gave them a king. Do you know that the Bible says He said, "Let me give them the king like them." When He gave them Saul, it is never the intention of God to make Saul the king, but God gave Saul as a king to punish them. And that is exactly what is happening in Nigeria. If we Nigeria refused to change our ways, we will keep experiencing bad leaders. Even if you have good intention, when you get there, you will have problems. You think if Peter Obi became the president, you think by now people will not be shouting on his head. Now, let me let me ask you this question. You I think about three, four times on this in the last couple of minutes, you've mentioned about if Nigerians repent. There are nations in this planet Earth that do not believe in the existence of God. There are nations on this earth that do not worship God. How yes, wicked! How wicked are they, yeah. the nation? How no, wicked! Of course, how wicked. wicked! See, sir, let wicked. me let me tell you this. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me tell you. In okay. Europe, you know a country called German, Germany. Yes, of course. They bloody alienated over three million Jews. I be four million Jews. Hold on, those people they killed had ancestors. In in, in Belgium, they came to Africa and they killed over 6 million people. And they, didn't they have ancestors? Come, while I'm not, see, while I'm not supporting the elimination of human beings, but what we must know is in England, there was what we called death stretcher, that a man would be laid in a, a, in a stretcher, handcuffed leg and be winding it like this, until the body parts fall apart. Oh, fall out, yes. These people killed. Okay? So mm -hmm. in all these killings, yet there is law to knock the senses of every citizen into shape. But what we have back home, how can you how can you have that set of leadership who are who would uh, be buying SUVs for 160 uh, million each? And you ask them, the argument is that the roads are not bad. And you talk about people killing people. No, no. Is me... it now that they have mismanaged the whole place, that everybody is now dying? This is when we will, in fact, what was happening before, there were no criminality. Now we will see criminality. Real hand. When a father of five sees his own children hungry and he only earns 30,000 naira, that cannot take him anywhere. Do you think that God would allow a people? go through that or is it that the people are so idiotic and if, they take if, even an amount of money and let cucumbers come and rule it over them even before christianity became as strong as this in nigeria nigerian people have been so corrupt even before most of these people it's just because the moment things started advancing and social media started exposing a lot of things that's when we now know that oh it's as bad as this 
when I'm talking about, when we are talking about the spirituality and other countries, there are some countries that they don't even carry God on their head, but they carry it in their heart. There are some in Nigeria, we carry most of, most of we religions in Nigeria, we carry God for head, we don't carry him for mind. And that is why it's so disabled. See, when you, when you are talking about country that God loves, there are, there are rules for them. Nigeria is one of the countries that God loves so much. So when we are not in line with God, we are bound to suffer. God loves us, but we keep producing bad leaders. That is, you, you, see, and let me tell you what. Let me, let, me, let, me, let me correct your mistake. Yes, sir. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. God let me say this. So I want to say and something before I forgot it. Let me say it. Hold on. Okay. It, it we eat our, our own life, our own character. Is God is not producing leaders for us. We are the one producing leaders for ourselves. Everybody, the people that Tinubu used, if he, he used anyone to get there, are we not the ones? Are we not the ones? Are we not? Is it not ourselves? See, let's stop blaming all these leaders and let's blame ourselves. If we truly want to set Nigeria free, it is in our hand. It's not in the, all these leaders we always come and eat. Peter will be, we come and eat. All of them will come and eat. The only person that will not go there to eat are the ones that we Nigerians are now ready. And so we are ready to... All of these people, you don't know how they campaign for Tinubu. All our celebrities, you don't know how they campaign for Tinubu. And now when Tinubu get there, started misbehaving, now we started complaining that, uh, why we God give... No, it's not done like that. We gave ourselves the leader. The people that, that he used, are they not human? Are they not Nigerians? In America, is it like that? In UK, is it like that? It's not. That's why those people, they enjoy the grace of God. Because they, they, they put principles there. and they, Even if they're not serving God like we are sweating serving God, things will still be well with them. Because the Bible says it shall be well with the righteous, not people that carry God for hell. No, I disagree. It is well with them because they obey and they enforce laws. The things, even you as a prophet, the things you can do in America and go to jail, I bet you, if you come to Nigeria and do the same thing, people would... It, People would go on the street and say, "Do not touch the anointed." Do you agree with me that yes. it is because that the people do not have what? Well, we see, we've seen pastor go to jail in Nigeria. No. We've seen pastor go to jail one, one very, I think few few weeks yeah, ago, a, a I mean, pastor was sent. Hypothetically speaking, one one in a no one in a million. Do you know that a lot yeah. of people too here in America they they you know, step on the laws, they step on the laws as well in you know, East America. Let, let, let me give you an example. A pastor in America cannot be seen on a video slapping an autistic child. That pastor will be in for trouble. Yes, of course. But in Nigeria, yes. here, of course. In most churches, churches you go, you see children suffering from autism. Yes. And, uh, you know, D uh, HDSD or whatever it's called, being abused. And I what agree. happens? So I let's agree. go there. Just, it's, I come down to the issue of law. It is not about because a nation loves God or hates God or behaves well and doesn't kill anybody. It is when a nation begins to obey their own laws. And Nigeria is, that is far from us. But again, before I let you go, having seen all these things, the controversy surrounding the video that um, you made, the controversy surrounding it, you know, the video being edited or not edited, being mm -hmm. removed by um, Facebook, you know, because if that video was left to be on YouTube or uh, Instagram, it would have been a different ball game because those these these are two platforms you cannot change the metadata as the way you can change the metadata in uh, in Facebook, right? Mm -hmm. But in all this, what do you think? Why did God reveal that to you? even when it eventually came to pass. And do you think, because you, I, I will go back to when you said there is someone to stop it. Do you think there were, you know, if I wear my conspiracy hat, do you think there were people really conspiring or that that act was a natural act or is it something that was, that has um, some uh, third party okay. element in it? Okay, thank you. Um, I think the first question is why why this, did it happen even after God showed me? And then I will still mm -hmm. go back to our fathers that have been that have seen prophecy. Yeah, Isaiah was very sure that Ezekiah would die, even though he's his son-in-law. He's very sure. But eventually Ezekiah changed his own fate. And there are some people as well 
that the prophecy can will go and then it will eventually happen. Our own is to deliver the message. And the vision is that it happened, but it can change. Because when, see, when we are dealing with God, things can be changed. You can change things, even if the prophet said, if, see, it doesn't, when things change, doesn't mean that God, the person did not see the vision. It's just that God decided to do things on his own. Probably the, the person that the prophecy is going to make some move and God decided to show mercy. That's why I said I'll show mercy unto whom I'll show mercy. So that is that. Yes. And again, yes, the man could have, uh, they could have worked it out. They could have worked it out. The wife would have just said, no, um, magic and fish, let's not leave Shola, you know, let's go all together. The wife could have said that, the husband could have said that. And, that's, and about the conspiracy, I didn't see any conspiracy here. I did not see no conspiracy. We are just fond of attaching things to things and to there is no conspiracy. I am saying it. There is no conspiracy anywhere on this issue. I'm saying it again and again. And I put my name at Dami Paul. There is no conspiracy about what happened to the man. No conspiracy. It okay. happened. A very fine place to anchor it. But would you agree if you're saying there is no conspiracy? If you do agree that you had the power, bearing in mind if the prophecy, obviously, because of the uh, controversy surrounding whether the video was edited or not, assuming it wasn't, um, would you agree that uh, if that prophecy came the way you said it, and you not making any effort to reach out, um, would you take some blames? Uh, well, I won't. I won't take some blames. You know why? When you are a prophet of a nation, your own is to deliver message. The message is bound to circulate by itself. Even prophets, all these prophets, Elijah, all of them, they would say it on their pulpit without running to anybody. I did not run to Tinubu and tell him, Tinubu, you, uh, you will be the president. I did not run to Peter Obi and say, Peter Obi, stop wasting your time. You're not going to be the president. I wouldn't run to anybody. And this as well. I didn't mean to see. That's why I will say this, and I'm sorry to say, when you, there are some level that you will reach. When you become a king, when you become somebody, uh, uh, popular somebody that, that is very successful that you have to you need God have to surround you with prophet God have to surround you with probably your imam your all of this you see even the White House there are prophets that will come to the White House to pray to tell them what will happen they have a personal prophet to the uh, to the to the president so somebody of that caliber I, I surely I surely think he should have a prophet that he strongly believes in that can always pray for him and say, this is what we have. Because if I, if I, if I, okay, let's say, for example, I am his prophet. He knows me. If I call him, he will pick up. It will never happen. It will not. That's it. Just assume that I'm his okay. prophet. It will not happen to him. Now, let's see. Um, obviously, you said that there are other prophecies that um, even today that you've heard. Yes. On this platform, what prophecy do you have for Nigeria, so that we know when it happens, at least we won't be deleting this video. Now, I there's a prophecy that I gave a few days ago. I saw some people, they just rise from nowhere, and they started burning down houses in Nigeria. I saw them, they rise, and they started burning, and I asked people to pray, because this is very strong as well. I, I saw it very real. For no reason, probably I don't know what they are trying to do. They just started burning down houses. Are they, are they foreigners or are they Nigerians? I strongly believe they are Nigerians. I strongly believe because they might be in any, any other tribe in Nigeria, but I saw it and write it down. So I don't pray that such happens. Like I said in my always all my visions, it's not that we are praying that all this. Like it's not going to be, I'm not going to be happy if this come is if this come to pass as well. I'm a prophet, I love God, and I love people. If you love God, you love people. So I don't say because I want to be a prophet of the nation, they have to be burning down houses so that they will know that, hey, prophet, Lami Paul has prophesied it. So I implore, because I know everybody is here now, I implore everybody to pray about this prophecy, to pray that God should stop that because it's going to be a mess for Nigeria, honestly speaking, and it's going to cause a lot of problems. Now, without being a prophet, mm -hmm. living in Nigeria, seeing how people groan every day, seeing the hunger in the land. If I tell you that I can make the same prophecy that uh, Nigerians will take to the street very soon. They can take to the street and not burn people's property and not burn people's house. You can't control how they would react. Nobody knew how NSAS would. And then, uh, let me say this too again. 
let me say let me give you these two prophecy again that I saw of a few days ago that I've not I've not said anything about it. I saw a governor that is going to be killed, and I saw a path governor that will escape death. I saw it. But you know, I will not mention governor's name before they will start arresting me or carrying me in. <laughs> Say you are the one that somebody with that. I saw it. So write it down. Two governors, one past governor, one present governor. It's going to happen. And they will start saying this one killer, this one kill. So see all this. They are, see, <laughs> you know, don't worry. We will we'll start the work of prophecy very well. Let's start prophesying for Nigeria. Even the good things that I saw about Nigeria. I know it. There are good things that will happen. There is a thing. Can, that we, some... end, can we end this? Can we end this interview on a good note? What are okay. the good things you've seen from Nigeria? Okay. Hey, so I see that this nation is going to be great. That's for sure. I see Tinubu signing something. Signing. I don't know what that thing is, but I saw him sign something that's going to really help Nigeria a lot. It's going to help Nigeria, and everybody will be happy. I see people praising him now. Oh, so you know how to do this and you refuse to do it before. It's going to happen very soon. I saw that happening in Nigeria and it's going to benefit a lot of people and it's going to reduce the hunger in Nigeria. It might not be circulating. You know, it's not, even if we have a perfect governor, a perfect president on the throne, doesn't mean all Nigerians will benefit from it. But at least in some people, uh, to a certain percentage that is, that can, that is visible, will benefit from him. So let's let's continue to have hope and let's continue to pray for Nigeria. That's that's all I can say. And finally, what's your uh, last words to the families of um, later uh, Weaver? Obviously, yes, we it's, didn't it's, it's so much. Who, who died with him? What's what's your last uh, message? It, it, as it's a, so much of a pain. Honestly speaking, it's something that is uh, it's 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 I don't know it's. It's it's painful, very painful, and I was I would tell them that God, I know it's only God that can console their family because for a wife, a husband, and child to die, that's 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 about three, that's about two generations wiped out. So it's it's I just tell them that God will comfort them, and such evil will never come to their family anymore. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. So that's all. Amen. I Before we leave, um, we have a guest who also wants to uh, ask you a question, Mike. <coughs> Okay. If uh, you're on now. Um, uh, can you hear me? Yes, yes Mazi. I can hear you. Go ahead. Okay. Uh, thank you, Mazi. Thank you for this outing. And uh, Prophet Dami, thank you so much. Uh, throwing light and trying to clear some of the fog that is before some of us. Um, first, I will ask, is a writer, are you a New Testament or Old Testament prophet? No, both. I believe in the Bible strongly believe in the Bible because at the end of the day, the foundation of all Christians is, is the, the whole testament. And even Jesus Christ came and said, I will I did not come to erase the whole laws. But the only thing that God Jesus Christ preached is love. Because he knows that when you love me, you will abide by the rules of God. The rules will not be too difficult for you to uh, to, to abide with. So that's why Jesus Christ preached love. He never he never do he never erase anything in the Bible. Well, um, I'm not going to discuss with you on what I think or what you think. I'm going to discuss with you strictly on what the Bible says. Okay. And we take, and we take it from there. Uh, I ask if you're a New Testament or an Old Testament prophet because even the Bible that you quote clearly indicated that there was an order for the prophets in the old, there was also an order for the prophets in the old. In Hebrews chapter one, mm -hmm. he's a writer, like I said, it's not my main question, he's a writer. In okay. Hebrews chapter one, verse one, he says, in the past, God spoke to our forefathers through the prophets. Mm -hmm at many times and in various ways. I want you to note many times and various ways. Mm -hmm. But in these last days, that's the New Testament era, mm -hmm. he has spoken to us by his son, whom he appointed heir of all things, and through whom he made the universe. Mm -hmm. The sun is the radiance of God's glory 
and the exact representation of his being, sustaining all things by his powerful word after he had provided purification for sins. He sat down at the right hand of the majesty in heaven, so he became as much superior to the angels as the name he has inherited is superior to theirs. Um, the reason why I ask, if you are a New Testament prophet or an Old Testament prophet, like you see here, mm -hmm. God said, sometimes God spoke to us through the prophets yes. in the time past. And then today, he is speaking to us through his son. This word is infallible. Okay. It cannot be broken. It cannot be contested. All who try to contest it, over the years, they bow to the superiority of this word. Okay. See, in this time, God is speaking to us through his son. So there is nothing like I'm both an Old Testament and I'm a New Testament prophet. If the prophecy is coming to you, it will come through today. And you are a Christian because I've had you mention... That's what I just said. Christ. I said I believe in both yes. Old and New Testament. That's what I said. I... So it's going to come. We're going to hear you speak through the prison of Jesus Christ. Now, I want to ask you, mm -hmm. when you receive this information, including the ones you're talking about now, how did it filter down? How did you receive it? That... Was it by dreams? I'm coming. Was it by dreams? Was it by trance? Was it by visuals? I don't was know. Was it by in intuition? Was it by inspiration? How do you receive your prophetic messages? It probably you did not join us from the beginning. I already told the, uh, the interviewer, uh, there are different types of ways to receive from God. And let me now say, like what you quoted, um, the Hebrew that say we receive words through Jesus. Probably you've forgotten that in the book of um, in the book of John chapter four, verse fifteen to thirty-one, Jesus Christ promised us the Holy Spirit, who will now be with us and be telling us things. So Jesus Christ is no longer responsible about talking to us anymore. Is the Holy Spirit. So the deeper you are in the Spirit, the the wider you see things, the more God reveals things to you. So Jesus Christ, the era of Jesus Christ, has passed. For him talking to us physically. Now we deal with the Holy Spirit. So that's why you see that some pastors are anointed, some are strong, some are, it depends on your level in the spirit. Now, um, with your the, uh, the question, yes, I, I said it to the um, uh, presenter. I said, I have different gifts. I can see it like a TV playing, but that comes once in a while. And I heard the voice. I, I used to hear voice as well, most especially when I'm ministering. And dreams, I used to have dreams. And the, the strongest part, the one that is the, the one that is very common, is when it's spoken to your heart. You will just hear that thing like inside you. You will feel it in your heart, and then you see that, and it's a fact, it's a truth. So all these things, all these things, all these okay, things. So, okay, so in your own case, it's it's by impression. Like the new ways is by impression. No, I, no, no, no it's no, not no. by impression. No, no. That's not what I'm saying. What he said, what he said was that the new ways was a dream. That's what he said. Okay, here. You, you had a dream for the well. I, I didn't hear that. You had a dream. Okay, for the new ways. that's that's one of the questions I asked him at the beginning. Okay, okay, I wasn't there. Okay, okay. but let me let me clear this, uh, uh, Prophet Dami. Um, you see, um, I'm excited each time I hear a prophet speak. I'm excited, um, but I've noticed that most contemporary prophets seem to dovetail into the Old Testament prophets. Mm, probably and, uh, you were like, thinking about like that. Like you said, you like, people are like using you said, Old Testament. No, just give me just give me a few minutes. Okay. Like you said, like you said that Jesus Christ's time has passed. That it is the Holy Spirit that is now in charge. Yes. The answer to that is capital no. No, it's it's capital. You can give me a particular scripture that says Jesus. The only thing Jesus Christ is doing, according to the Bible. Wait, wait now. Let me quickly say this. According to the Bible, he's only advocating for us in heaven. Jesus Christ will not come and be showing himself, fighting for anybody here on earth, or speaking to anybody. It is the work of the Holy Spirit. It's no longer the work of Jesus Christ. When you study the Bible, just but Jesus, but Jesus said, Jesus said, it is expedient that I go away. Yes. If I don't go, 
-hmm. If I don't go, the paraclete will not come. The Holy Spirit will not come. Exactly when saying. he comes, uh -huh. when he comes, yes. he will take from me and he will show to you. When the Holy Ghost comes, he will take from me and he will show to you. So, there is nothing the Holy Ghost is showing you and I today or talking to you or me today that is not taken from the Lord Jesus. It, yeah, so it Jesus, is taking no, over. You don't understand. understand. It's taking over. It's when, when you are taking Jesus from, time, you are, Jesus you are saying as if, not, you are saying as if the, wait, you are saying it as if it says you will be receiving from me. It's different. You will take from me like you will be the one in charge. Let me read this place in the Bible. Let's no, quickly read I said, I said, I said, Jesus said, what, what, I think, he will, so what he sees of me, he will give to you. Wait, let me read this place. Let me read this place as well. If you love me, that's, I'm, I'm reading John 14, 15. If you love me, mm -hmm. keep my commands, and I will ask the Father, mm -hmm. and we give you another mm -hmm. advocate, another. It's mm -hmm. it, that's his, that's that is specifying it. Another advocate to help you. That means he's another another entity on his own. Now he said, "I'm mm -hmm. be with you forever." The Spirit of Truth, the Word cannot accept him. That's exactly what is happening right now. They cannot what accept verse him. Are you reading? Because I, I'm reading verse twenty. I'm reading verse twenty. I'm reading fifteen. Same, I'm reading verse fifth from verse. 15. I'm reading verse twenty-three of that same John fourteen. Okay. And here is what he says. Jesus replied, "If anyone loves me, uh -huh. he will obey my teaching. Yes. My Father will love him, and we, you can underline we in your own Bible, uh -huh. will come to him." and make our home with him yeah because at the end of the day the holy spirit is still part of the bodies wait now wait now <laughs> he who does not love me uh -huh. will not obey my teaching of course that is 100 true. he who does not love me so even what you hear even what the holy ghost is communicating is what jesus is saying uh -huh. who does not love my teaching you see this is where this is where we we need to get it right because there are all manner of things flying around. Of course, so are, but it doesn't really it doesn't correlate, it doesn't correlate with people seeing vision or people prophesying. Because even Jesus Christ said, "Your children will prophesy." So how does it? It doesn't correlate. So if we are abiding in the teaching of the Jesus one, Christ, even the one you are hearing from Jesus, uh, you see, you need to understand how the Trinity works. Even the one you are hearing from Jesus uh, is coming from his Father. Yeah, of course. The Every, even the one, one you are hearing from the Holy Spirit has to come with it. Even the one that's excuse coming from me. the Holy Spirit is coming from the Father. Don't get it wrong. Excuse me. Now. Excuse <laughs> me. The one the Holy Spirit My. is communicating is coming from you know, Jesus. You know, I don't know. You, I, you don't understand Mike. what is happening here. Mike, um, <laughs> can you read? Can you read? Can, can you read? Mazi, let me just read this verse for him and I'll leave you and him and then also leave him with the audience to make the assessment. He says, Jesus replied, if anyone loves me, he will obey my teaching. Not the teaching of the Holy Ghost. He will obey my, my father. He will, he will. Me. That's excuse one thing, that's excuse, one thing that we don't understand. The responsibility. Excuse me. Excuse me. Now let me just read down and you take over. Okay. My father will love him. And we will come to him and make our home with him. He who does not love me will not obey my teaching. These words you hear are not my own. They belong to the Father who sent me. We, if, if in our ministry and in our theology and in our approach to the things of God, we don't connect with the Trinity, we don't see their roles in everything happening, then we need to ask questions. So if, you, if God inspired you, like Mazi, I had him ask you, Sorry, I didn't join you from the beginning. Like he asked you. God is not a dramatist. God is not a, an, God is not an is not a Nollywood artist. God is not looking for somebody to, to exalt him. He's already exalted. God is not saying, see how powerful I am. God does not speak in vain. <laughs> Excuse me. So when we come out and say, we saw a prophecy and then we say you told people to pray that the prophecy did not go viral and it's asking you did you pray you said it didn't go viral 
Did the Bible tell you the number of people? Did the prophet tell you? Did the Isaiah? Of people did, I, that, did, that Isaiah pray, did Isaiah? Did Isaiah? Did Isaiah pray for Ezekiah? Did Isaiah pray for Ezekiah? Excuse me. Did Jonah? Did Jonah pray for Nineveh? Did the apostles? When when the Herod? When all these Herod the kings? Wait now. Even the during the regime of the. During the regime of Jesus Christ and that the apostles, take over, did they pray take for over. the kings? Did they pray for? See, sometimes we just that take out, we take Christ, prophets. Christ, we we want to win. Sometimes we just think prophets are, are you, you no. can just they are just that anything. That when when God speaks to them, you will take over very soon. You will uh, take over sorry, very Mike, soon. Um, what Mike, I'm saying, you, what I'm please, saying, if you please round up with your question okay, so that I'm saying, can, you, uh, yeah, you uh, should. I think you're asking a question, but this is not even a question. I'm asking a question. I'm making a comment at the same time. Because but you are, not, you are not even telling you, you are not, this even shows that you don't even understand the Bible. If you are saying that we shouldn't listen to that, the, the, what, whatever instruction you receive from the Holy Spirit, is this coming from God? Because the Holy Spirit is the Spirit of God. So Spirit nobody's, is nobody's, nobody's, nobody's this is not, a, is not a false it's teaching. It's it's when it's you it's believe it's in it's Jesus, it's it's there is no possible you will believe in Jesus you don't know and you won't be inspired in the Holy Spirit and you won't have God. You don't know who is talking with you. So don't say you don't understand. That is demeaning. You don't do that. At the you end of the day, you don't even you make yourself. I don't even understand what you are. Even, okay, you so what is the basis of what is the basis of your question? I don't you even understand it. No, and we continue from where we don't know. What I've just said is that Mazi asked you. Mm -hmm. you. You saw this prophecy. You got this okay. prophecy, and it was supposed to have come from God. So okay. what happened thereafter? You so said did, it when, go when God I wait went now, now wait you ask the question. I had, Let me... you, I had you. You said it didn't um, go you viral. Have, you have you have asked him the question. Allow him to answer. Yes, okay now. What I, wait viral. now? Wait, sir. When I saw the vision, what is his vision that I saw? An helicopter crash. That means it's bound to happen. But because God is a God of grace, He always gives us one grace to stop evil. It is. It has happened thousands of times in the Bible, even on earth. Yeah, God will give you that small grace that you can stop this. Most especially when you check the Bible, most of the people that the prophecy go to are the ones that work on changing the prophecy. If Sodom and Gomorrah, when when the when the when the destroyer got there, had they been there, knelt down and said, "God, we are sorry, or we don't know," it wouldn't have happened to them. Ezekiah stopped the prophecy by himself. Nineveh people stopped the prophecy by himself, and so on and so forth. Even when Jesus, when God wants to destroy the children of Israelites, they they were the one that put ashes on their yeah, body and start begging God. Prophet, sometimes, wait. Sometimes, sometimes, God will not put the solution in the hand of the prophet in a prophecy like this. If God has said, "Damn it." Go and fast for him so that it will not come to pass. Why wouldn't I do that? Then if, okay, so now. So what, so, so if, what was the whole essence of your the, word? Of hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Sorry, guys. If I take your word, what the last thing you just said, of what use is, the prophecy? is that prophecy then? Of what use was the prophecy? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Of what use is that prophecy if it wasn't going to be stopped. Mm -hmm. And what you said that the video should go viral, then go viral to do what? To reach to, uh, to reach to reach the main subject. He can change it. I'm not gonna be in the helicopter with him. He can change it. And don't see when if I did this person is the person that is a common person that I can access, you can put the blame on me. It's not a common man you can access. That's but not. You, you couldn't access it when you got the information for him. I couldn't. I, I don't even know so him. You need to access him to stop it. I did. No, I, that's what I'm saying. I don't even know him. So putting it on social, you know, in these days now, in this in this era now, it is social media that is doing the job for us. You couldn't also access him, so you can also be stopped. It's a spiritual thing. The spirit, the spirit does not have need for the space and time. He doesn't need what? for that. Okay, so you you you're trying to tell me that because he didn't, I didn't stop it means God did not speak. <laughs> Well, and what, see, I'm that's, saying, that's, what I'm we, saying, what I'm saying is that we need to, we, we need to, we have gone, we have gone, um, you know, of Dami, information. Uh, uh, thank you very much for joining us. Dami, uh, I, I really appreciate it. I've enjoyed the last uh, close to one hour, 20 minutes you having this conversation. Uh, my takeaway here, Dami, is you, yes, sir. you know, 
you know, it's sad we've lost the individuals that we actually, you know, lost. Mm -hmm. um, yes. Abimbola and his family and uh, Abimbola as well. You know, uh, we pray, may their souls rest in perfect peace. Rest in peace. Yeah. So sad. So, you know, so sad. Having said that, uh, my takeaway here is you said on this platform, on this date, the 15th of February 2024, that yes. um, a governor will be shot. I didn't Apparently. say we'll be shot. We died. We died. I don't we'll, know how it's going to happen. Oh, yes. A governor would, a sitting governor would die, and a sitting, a yes, governor sitting governor would be shot. Yeah, we, we escaped death. We escaped death. Okay. Then uh, that's um, that's on a negative side. Then I asked you, what do you see on the positive on the side? side yes, good, on the positive side, you said mm -hmm. to us that um, uh, uh, Tunubu or Chief Tunubu will sign certain yes, documents. Yes, <laughs> uh, that he will sign certain documents into, in, you know, I don't know, maybe executive orders. I don't know. And that's that going to favor the Nigerians. Yes, that's going to make and Nigerians happen. Nigerians and Nigerians will begin to rejoice. Yes, and yes. the last one is that you see um, a massive. Let me uh, allow you use that word again. What is the right? I saw. Word? I saw people burning house. I just saw them from nowhere. They started burning down houses. And don't okay. forget that all these prophecies. All these prophecies. We are in charge. Don't always forget that. We are in charge to pray about them. We are in charge. Don't don't come and tomorrow and say that my Paul has prophesied evil. I did not prophesy evil. Now I'm saying it in the general public so that we can all pray. We pray on it. If you check my video, it's, I think four days ago, is this not new? I said it there, and I said we should please pray. So it's not that I prophesy to become popular. It's not that I prophesy so that this I prophesy it actually on my platform and I ask people to pray because I don't want this to happen. So always remember that we have the power to pray and to change things. Like the man said, I understand what that man said, but it's not. He doesn't place it very well. It is for us when we receive evil prophecy or prophecy that is not good, we have the power to change it. So let's take note of that. Okay. Um, it's a very fine place to live. Um, I thank you once more for agreeing to. Maybe we would extend and have this conversation again when once um, these prophecies uh, come to fruition. Be rest assured. Uh, <laughs> no, don't pray. No, please, sir. Please wait. Sir. That's, don't pray that this prophecy come to pass. The only one I pray that should come to pass. If the gov wait, wait, if the governor is escaping death, I pray it come to pass. And then um, the note that will be signed, I pray it come to pass. I will never pray. Before they will start dragging me again, that yeah, professor, I say, I say, if we should happen to Nigeria, please, you know, social I media. Can tell you, they I, can tell drag you me. Many, I can tell you free of that, that many Nigerians watching and who are... Uh, yes. Um, and I pray they should go and pray, and please. No, mm. no, no. I can tell you through of child, there are many Nigerians watching us now who 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 are angry and hungry are actually saying, "Well, bring it on. We want Dami's uh, prophecy to happen. Maybe, uh, as Shore would always say, it might lead to that revolution." Do you know that Shore? This Shore, Shore, I'm saying it free of charge. I posted him on my platform. You know, I said it the other time, but I didn't mention it. Shore, is the we Nigerians are not ready. That man is the man after God's heart and is the chosen one. Write it down today. Shore, write it today. I posted okay, this. So you have added what prophecy that Shore is the chosen one. Is the chosen one from Nigeria. Right, right. Yes, Shore is the chosen one. God showed me. Before now, before now we were talking about, no, no, no. But when we were talking about P2B, before now, you said that P2B was the chosen no, one. No, 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 no. I never said that. I said some people prophesied Peter will be. I said that God told me the chosen one. Peter, this is never the chosen one. Though. Anything they want to say, no, let no, them listen to. Like we can go back and play this video. Yes, I go mean, back and play it. You will understand what I said. I, I never I said Peter. Back. I said, if you remember, I, I said I posted. I said I posted his picture on my platform. I never posted Peter Peter on my platform. I posted uh, Shuwere on my platform. Okay. On this note, I would go back and bring because you clearly used that word, the chosen one, that made me ask you the question about Paul. Uh, probably you don't get it. You don't understand it. What I said is, I said you know that many people are. Uh, prophesying Peter will be. I said sometimes the chosen one is different from the one that will be on the seat. So probably that's where you miss it, or probably because I said Peter will be, you now think is the one I'm referring to as the chosen one. That probably that's what I don't know. No, no, that's not what I'm saying. Peter, I never said Peter will be the chosen one. Thank God you even clarified it now so that I made it known. 
I never said Peter Bibbs is the chosen one. Me or as Prophet Dami Paul, I keep saying Shure anytime I'm praying for Nigeria. Anytime okay. I'm praying for Nigeria. Anytime you're playing, uh, 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 sorry, anytime you're praying for Nigeria, you keep saying Shure. Shure, yes. Exactly. And Shure stands for revolution now. And here you're also telling us there, there's going to be, you know, some sort of commotion houses will be burned and maybe the beginning of revolution. So if we're putting one on one together, that means so if you're listening to me now, uh, the protest you're doing in Abuja started yesterday. You can uh, we can buy petrol for you to no 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 fire. see don't don't you are I think you are mixing things together. Those two prophecies okay. does not does they do they, they are not on the side. They are not it's different thing. It's different from Shore as a chosen person becoming I told you I even start an example. I said it took David 15 years to become to 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 sit on that seat that um some people will be burning houses doesn't have anything to do with your or anybody so don't try to you are trying to like drag my words no that's not what i'm saying i'm saying it and i'm stating it clearly it doesn't have anything to do with your what i'm saying about your is god anytime i pray for nigeria to in fact that was it. i have to go and check my instagram is there i posted to where i said this man is the chosen one but the nigerians are not ready for him I posted him there. Thank you very much. It has been an enlightening conversation. Um, obviously, Nigerians, uh, regarding the uh, video in question, the prophecy, and everything, we have tried our best here to bring clarity to this question. It's up to you to make up your mind. Um, was this uh, video real, authentic, Dr. Dami? But I think Dami, uh, Professor Dami, on this but we've been able to uh, make his point, and from technical side as well, we've been able to make some presentations. The judgment is left for you to do. But I do appreciate you very much for uh, agreeing to come. I uh, hope we'll have more of this conversation. Indeed, it's been an enlightening moment. Viewers, sure. thank you very much for joining me. Um, thank you, sir. Thank you very much. So for many of you who are joining me for the first time, I say thank you and you're welcome to Njenja Media TV. Please, if you haven't subscribed, by all means, click the subscribe button and like and share this video. Share it with others for others to be enlightened as well. On this note, I will say to you, good night from here, Abuja.